Blake Belder versus Alexander Morgan. Morgan. Jesus. My boy, Canadian boy, Alexander Morgan. I was cheering for him, but Blake Belder is just. I don't know. It was like sort of like a chess match. None of them really landing, both of them. And then out of nowhere, Belder with that very straight right hand right to the back of the ear. It just dazed Morgan. And then Belder jumped on top of the back of Morgan, got in the rear naked choke, but it didn't quite work the first time. They transitioned uh, onto the fence and then tried that uh, rear naked choke again. And this time it was much deeper and finished it off with the rear naked choke. Yeah. That's just one. The hell? Why is there an echo of the, that guy? Okay, anyway. Yeah, right, straight right, right on the back of the head. That soft spot, as Daniel Cormier said, enough to knock you out or daze you. And yeah, instead of finishing him off, which is weird, with another flurry, Builder decided to jump on the back of Morgan and finished him off with a rear naked choke submission, which is, I don't know, I, he could have went either way. Does he have a background in jiu-jitsu or something? Because he eventually got it, but Morgan was defending well, the rear naked choke, but Morgan, uh, Builder was just a better fighter in terms of jiu-jitsu. So yeah, that's it. That's